What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Um, I will start with a birthday shout-out to my cousin, my man Kevin Huff. He's somewhere in his 40s. I don't know. Whatever. 43, 4, 5-ish. Happy birthday, Kev. So Kev's got his own YouTube thing going. Um, he's doing bourbons every Friday, I believe. So I'm going to send a uh, link to his YouTube feed. Um, if you want to follow or subscribe to him, turns out I now got two subscribers of my own. So all right, Kevin, one of these days I'd like you to do the old Forester Statesman. If I ever get down there, I'd like a guest spot. All right. So Kevin is from uh, the Nashville area. I was visiting him and my cousins, uh, Chrissy, when I got this hat I wear so many days at Martin's Barbecue. So for Kev's birthday, I'm going to do some uh, little barbecue at home. So I'm going to do some uh, turkey wings. Um, thought about doing chicken wings, but something a little bit different. So I got two big old honkers right here. Gonna do this in the oven, so set the oven to 325. And you can make a, a dry rub, you know, you can make it your own. Um, something you definitely would wanna have is salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme. If you got poultry seasoning, that's good. Um, and because it's barbecue, I like to do some paprika, some chili powder, and a touch of clove. So to start, I'm going to rub both these wings with both some uh, liquid smoke and olive oil. So as best you can, you want to get it over and under the skin. Um, it's going to be a little messy. Turkey legs do have a lot of fat, so you might need to do some uh, doctoring. You know, if you got like uh, scissors, that even helps to uh, help get under the skin. So. You want to get both the liquid smoke and the olive oil in there. And uh, then you're going to put the spice rub, again, over and under the skin uh, as best you can. So then you're going to get it on a, on a baking sheet, put some foil down. Uh, I coated it with some butter so it doesn't stick. So what we're going to do is... Uh, put it in the oven covered for three hours flat and then at that time we're going to take it out take the cover off baste it in barbecue sauce and then do a flash broil for about five ten minutes and that's it it's kind of like those ribs i did a while back a lot of this is just slow and slow and leave it alone um, and as far as the amounts for the spice rub you know I, I, I don't do exact measurements, but you just want to get enough to cover them generously. I don't really think you can go too heavy on this. Um, you just want to get enough, uh, as I said before, to get over and under the skin and coat it uh, nice and good. So we got this over, under. Now I'm going to put it uh, down in the pan on the side that I, uh, I already seasoned, so now I'm going to be able to do the other side before I uh, throw it in the oven. So, get a nice coat on there, and then for good measure, I'm going to do a little more of the uh, liquid smoke on the top here. Um, because you don't have a smoker, or I don't have a smoker, uh, you really need that to get that smoky flavor. So, going to cover this up and then throw it in the oven for three hours and we'll be back to uh, do the basting. Stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, all right. So we're back. It's been about three hours at, at 325. So at this point, uh, get your barbecue sauce ready. Either homemade, jarred, whatever. I got stubs. So we're going to take the uh, turkey out and put the barbecue sauce on it. And in the meantime, set your oven to broil. Um, 
So once we get it back, it's going to be quick and hot. So take the cover off. You can see there's a pretty good uh, char going on these. So I'm just going to put them, uh, baste them on both sides with the barbecue sauce and then boil them for five, seven minutes and that'll be it. So uh, again, as little or as much sauce as you want. Just get it all in there. Um, if you're so inclined, you want, want to flip them one more time, just so you can hit the sauce on all sides. And you can see they really cook down at this point. Um, that's kind of how it works. So, uh, when I put them back in, it's going to be uncovered and it's going to be quick five, seven minutes, and then we will be good to go. So, I didn't really make any barbecued sides with this thing. Um, I'm kind of at the end of the week, so I might just do a salad on the side, which probably isn't being like a true southerner, but what are you going to do? Um, I would recommend mac and cheese, collard greens, coleslaw, Baked beans, anything like that will be good with this. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll be back to plate up in a little bit. See ya. All right, so we're back. This is burn broiling. It's ready to take out. So as you can see, they get a nice caramelization, you know, uh, low and slow. Definitely the way to go. So, as I stated before, didn't really have any of those southern sides, so I got a little uh, arugula, tomato, mozzarella. It's not barbecue, but whatever. It's all good. So, just put these on there. And then if you uh, were so inclined, you know, some people like it a little bit heavier. You could always top it off with more sauce, but uh, this looks pretty good to me. So that's our smoked uh, turkey wings in honor of Kevin's birthday. I will throw a link to his, uh, his channel if you're a fan of bourbon. He's got a lot of good stuff on there. Happy birthday, Kev. Uh, if you're ever up this way, you always have a spot on my show. Be good. Have a good weekend. See everybody soon. Peace.